Of course, we continue to talk about some of the heavy rainfall in the Northeast and all that led to some of the home closures. At least one person has died from this. And of course, others have had to flee their homes. It's led to road closures and water rescues. You got it, Melissa. Bernie Reno is back with more on what led to this devastating event. Well, widespread flash flooding from eastern Pennsylvania into eastern New England as we've gone through today. In fact, there's been three epicenters of where we've seen the worst flash flooding. One was across southeastern Pennsylvania. The second area in the southern Hudson Valley and just north of New York City. And then, of course, the third and the ongoing flash flooding is occurring across Vermont right now. I want to show you some of the rainfall totals that we did see. We'll take you first into southeastern Pennsylvania, anywhere from over five and a quarter inches in Kutztown to Penn State Berks. This is near Reading that had over seven inches of rain. As impressive as these amounts were, we had even higher amounts across the southern Hudson Valley with the rain that started uh, Sunday and continued through Sunday night, anywhere from eight to almost 11 inches of rain. That number at West Point, 8.2. One, two. What happened? Well, you had this dip in the jet stream, a very slow moving, what we call trough. And what it is, it's called uh, negatively tilted. What do we mean by that? It's tilted from north um, west to southeast. And when you have that, that means most of your energy is on the eastern side of that trough. Also, this trough was able to pick up a lot of tropical moisture. Take a look at our uh, moisture content. And this is a little different than the dew point temperatures. Instead of looking at the low levels, we're looking at the entire depth of the atmosphere and that negatively tilted trough, what it was able to do was bring in a lot of tropical moisture into New England and it just sat there and sat there and sat there for a period of time. And as I mentioned, as we move forward, we're going to start drying things out. It's going to be a slow process, but the worst of the flooding through tonight is certainly going to be across Vermont with receding waters farther south.